Today, we're gonna be testing out the Mediator, which is Dokabi's blueprint for the KVD Enforcer, and seeing if this is even worth attempting. Let's bring it in and test it out from the very base to its full potential, and let's get on with the video. Welcome back to Zombies. Today, we're gonna be testing out the KVD Enforcer, also known as Dokabi's weapon, because we got this blueprint straight from her. It's called the Mediator, and honestly, we gotta know, did she cook? Or did we let did we let her cook a little too much and so this is absolute dog shit. But you never know. I mean, I've used this gun before. I remember kind of liking it a little bit. It, it does have some pretty good uh, recoil. Uh, it shoots pretty decently fast and reload time without speed call is not terrible and has a pretty decent ADS. So she she may have just cooked just a little bit maybe. Uh, she's got she's got some seasoning in the pan. Put it to that way. Um, but so far. Uh, if you guys have been enjoying these sorts of videos, testing out different weapons, uh, let me know in the comments below. Let me know what guns uh, you guys are interested in taking a look at. But as you guys already know, we brought in all the tools, all the crystals, as well as Deadshot, Speed Cola, and Jug, just to help me out in the Tier 3 zone. Um, but we're going to go ahead and give this gun the full run through. As you know, first thing we do is take it straight to Tier 2. No Pack-A-Punch, base rarity. So we get this gun at its lowest level and see it at the very very tip top of the spectrum as well so here we go we got some regular tier 2 zombies let's see just how good this gun is gonna be honestly it's like four maybe five shots to the head and when you're shooting this quick i don't see it being that big an issue only thing i don't like about this blueprint is this fucking scope I, scopes normally are a bit of a pain in the ass but on a sniper i can see it being somewhat useful uh, I just personally am not a fan of it. I want to say this is uh, this this is not the Corvio. If this would have been the Eagle, the Eagle Eye, the two and a half time scope, it would have been a lot better. Um, but especially for you controller players, make sure you guys are aiming in constantly. Make sure you guys are hitting those headshots, especially if you have that dead shot uh, daiquiri on. Uh, for PC players, I mean, good luck, brother. You're gonna be having to hit a ton of headshots with this gun. Uh, let's go ahead, upgrade it to rare rarity. Go ahead, test it at the next little stage. Um, and let's find some zombies. Let's see what we can do. So let's get a regular zombie right here. That's one, two. Okay. I have a feeling one of those shots in the trigger. It looks like it might be a three shot. So it looks like it be a three shot to the head now once we got it up to rare rarity. And honestly, that's not bad. Yeah, it looks, looks to me like a three shot, especially if you're hitting those headshots. So right here, face zombie. Uh, make sure we actually hit the shots one shot two and then three so yeah so you get it in about three bullets if you have it up to epic rarity i'm gonna assume that it's gonna two shot just because that little sliver of health is definitely gonna get uh, compensated for but not bad you can already see the the fire rate i mean it has okay movement as well but let's go ahead get this baby up now to rare uh pack one fuck you okay i don't want to take that fight Let's go ahead and get this up to rare rarity, pack a punch, level one, and let's start seeing. So now we get 40 bullets in the mag. Uh, we don't get any real special, um, anything special done to the gun. Doesn't shoot two bullets. It still shoots the one bullet. Uh, so nothing crazy to look out for there. It's just going to deal some more damage now. And by the looks of it, it's a two shot to the head now. Almost one shotting, but it's a definite two shot. Test it on this guy right here. Yeah, so it's 100% a two shot. Um, we're going to go ahead and get this up to epic rarity. I have a feeling now it might one shot. So you have it up to epic rarity. It's going to one shot to the head. Any regular zombies, two shot on those light armor zombies and heavy armor zombies. And that's not terrible for tier two. I mean, most guns at this point are going to be doing this, especially epic pack one. You should be kind of dominating in this zone. If you're not then you're using the wrong gun if i'm being completely honest uh, you can you see the last like 10 of my long form videos uh you can just see right there that uh it's just you, you don't have you have a plenty of choice of guns if your gun is not doing at least the minimum this much damage in the zone you clearly are picking the wrong gun i mean come on all right so we can now see if one shots in or two sh or no wait hold up it's two shotting normal zombies or armor zombies i'm sorry one shotting regular zombies so i don't even feel the need to pack a punch to tier two at this point uh and test it in this zone 
We already know anything above this is just gonna do more and more damage. Honestly, shit, if we pack a punch to the, let's go ahead and pack a punch it to level two. It, it'll probably one shot armored zombies at this point. So that's a regular, that's a regular. Looks like it might be two to three shotting in the chest. Um, if you don't hit that headshot, let's see. It's not one shotting regular zombies or the light armored zombies, but it is basically one shotting everything else. You, see, you, don't, you don't even have to aim in much. You can, just, you can kind of quick kill them. Have some fun with it. All right. Now, I want to test this right now at pack two against a special zombie. So, let's see if we can run around and find one of them. Um, and then we're going to go ahead and take this into tier three. You guys already know the deal. We're going to go ahead, kill a mega, and then go and try it out against a bounty. Um, as you guys know, tier three bounties are basically the top, top end of bosses you guys are going to fight in the zone. Uh, other than that, you maybe have the red worm or anything crazy like that. But we're not going to go ahead and fight them because that's going to be a very, very long video. <laughs> that I, I don't want to bore you guys with 45 minutes of just prepping and uh, getting ready for that long fight. So that's typically why we just do the tier three bounty because that's about the higher end of what you're going to be facing. Uh, only thing above that would be, again, the red worm or maybe even the dark aether. But then again, the dark aether, you're basically fighting tier three zombies on crack. So let's go ahead see if this is going to be doing any damage to this mega at this point. You can see the recoil right there. It's not too terrible. Um, it is actually dealing some damage. I can actually hit him in the head. It looks like he's getting angry with me. All right, let's see. Are we going to be able to pop ahead? Not doing terrible damage-wise. Not doing the greatest either, though. Okay. So we weren't able to pop ahead at epic, uh, epic rarity. And by the looks of it, it's like three or four shotting zombies in the tier three zone. So not bad on that end either. This might be another one of those guns where it just doesn't do great against specials, but it take out zombies pretty easily. I mean, which honestly, there's nothing wrong with weapons like that. It's just, again, you have a such a wide variety of guns you can use. There's no reason to kind of limit yourself to one of them. You are able to break it on that second uh, go around. We're going to go ahead and get this up to legendary rarity. You kind of saw right there just a little bit what this gun is going to be able to do for the uh, tier three zombies. And honestly, I think uh, legendary rarity is kind of the way to go if you're planning on coming in here with Pack-A-Punch 2. Uh, you might be able to deal with this big boy a little easier. We're going to leave him alone for a second. We're going to go ahead and get some distance. And I feel like this gun might be better off. You don't want to be up and close against these zombies. You might be wanting to take a bit of a different approach, you know? Not, nothing wrong with different. We're, we're, not, we're not discriminating here. If it kills zombies, we're happy with it. Okay. Oh, I got a zombie right behind me. That wasn't good. Okay. Uh, tier 2 is just not doing it for me. I'm going to be honest. Even at Legendary Rarity, taking that many shots and not being able to shoot that much uh, that quickly. It's just... I don't I don't see a use for it. Unless you're, you're like really, really in need of using this gun. Uh, I can see maybe if you want to do some like longer range stuff, maybe like stay in tier two while your buddies are fighting or something. I don't know, but I just don't see a need for this gun at this point. Maybe eight. Hey, you never know. Maybe once we get this baby all the way packed up uh, and good to go, it might be a different story. But as it is right now, it does decent to OK damage, I will say. I mean, you can just see right there. The bullet pen is not there. You kind of get so slow that it's not really moving um let's see i mean it, you still deal enough damage to kind of survive but it's it's not impressing me to the point where i gotta say like you have to use this gun right now it's kind of just like a oh, okay this this gun deals damage <laughs> i mean that's the best way i can put it at this point we're gonna go ahead and do this uh cargo contract real quick so i can get a self res um because if not i this video is going to end a lot sooner than uh we might think oh shit i gotta be careful there just got stuck like even taking like four shots against a hellhound that's kind of like eh, like really um again i'm using the dokubi build because you guys might have gotten your hands on this gun by beating her uh last week so you know it doesn't it doesn't hurt to try new things we're trying to see if activision cooked or they didn't cook and so far they are not cooking let me tell you they, they got some soupy water right now let's go ahead and get this cargo going and let's go ahead and get our 5,000 points. This is the contract, by the way, boys. You need to be running this. 
As soon as you see this, I don't care what you're doing, we'll run straight here. This is a free 5,000 points. It takes less than 30 seconds to just literally drive up right here. You have no obstacles, nothing in your way. I mean, it's honestly the easiest and freest 5,000 points. Even going into the the storm right here is not even going to be an issue for us. We're going to go in, just drop it off, basically collect our loot and GTFO. There we go. Freaking helicopter being responded. And we get our stuff here. Perfect. Let's make sure we get out of here on time. Oh, God. Let's go ahead, throw a decoy, and we are basically good to go. All right. So we saw what this gun is able to do now at pack two legendary rarity, the tippy top of pack punch two. Now we're going to get this baby up to its max, max, max potential. And now it, it's not even one shot in Hellhounds. I mean, it did hold up, actually. There's some decent damage there. Okay, I don't... Okay. It is one shot in Hellhounds. It is. I maybe just hit him in the ass a little bit. I gotta be careful here. This gun not having the movement speed and then not having plates right now is kind of scary. I'm fucking terrified. Okay, so rate of fire is not bad. Looks like it might be a two shot to the head on certain zombies. Three shot to the head on the armor, just because you got to kind of break the armor first, like I said. Um, so overall, not terrible. And rate of fire is not bad either. So yeah, I said two shot to the head, almost a one shot, which is kind of disappointing. I kind of wish it was, if it was a one shot, that would like absolutely change the game. So you see like right there, it barely gets there. So hopefully once we get like the next level of Pack-A-Punch, you'll be able to one shot with this weapon. But as it is right now, it's until it one shots. I mean, I don't necessarily see a real good use for it. Um, Cause you're kind of limited on ammo. I mean, 40 rounds having to two shot, you're, you're able to kill 20 zombies max. If they're all like these type of zombies without helmets and armor. Um, so it's kind of okay. We're gonna go ahead. We're gonna we're gonna keep on going with the test. You guys already know. So we're gonna go find ourselves a mega abomination. Should be one right up here. Um, and keep testing this gun out. But as it is right now, I am not impressed whatsoever by it. Don't get me wrong. I mean, uh, two shotting in tier three is nice, but there could always be more. You know, there could always, always, always be better. I mean, no reason to take this gun over something like the Lockwood, where now you just one-shot in Tier 3, you do more damage, you have better movement speed, you kill bosses quickly. I mean, that, that gun basically has everything, so I don't see a real need to swap it out. But we're going to still, you know, still go through the motions, check everything, confirm for you if it is good or if it is absolute trash. So far, this is a no-go for me, but um, let's let's give it the full rundown. Also, this, this sight is killing me, man. It is not good at all. <laughs> I mean, that, that could be changed if you run your own kind of build, but we're, we're testing this out the exact way Activision intended us, you know? All right, let's see this Disciple. We're firing from range. Oh, God. This is where I kind of get a little worried. When you get, like, all these zombies clumped up on you close, I mean, you do deal enough damage, but kind of, like, getting away and then... You gotta stop and like hit fire now you're not hitting them in the head and it's just I, I can see things like compounding on top of each other just to go majorly wrong i mean we did get we did get to see the uh, mega there so we know he's there but ooh, gotta make sure we at least eliminate a few of these guys okay oh i'm about to get stuck i gotta be real careful here this is what i mean man you're, you get stuck and you're screwed Especially with this gun. You're, you're not going to have that movement to kind of bail you out. And you're stuck shooting so many bullets into these zombies. Because the, the bullet pen, I just don't see it there either. Holy shit, this guy came all the way out here to say hi to us. Ooh, this mega is not dealing... We're not dealing that much damage. I have honestly seen a lot better damage be dealt. But, it, I mean, it is still dealing it. I mean, it's you're, you're not going crazy hard on it. But you're not going completely terrible either. You're, you're dealing a decent amount of damage to survive. So if you get this gun and you kind of just want to do the camel challenges with it, I don't see it being that big an issue. I do see you having issues as soon as you try and take this in as like your main weapon to fight the Red Worm or fight in Tier 4 or anything crazy like that. I, I just don't see this gun keeping up damage-wise, keeping up mobility-wise. 
Um, but yeah, I mean, we're gonna keep testing it. You never know. I mean, holy shit, we did something and it unlocked some secret ability type deal. But we're gonna kill this uh, Mega, and I think <laughs> that's gonna be it. I don't think this baby's gonna be able to take on a, a bounty Mega. I mean, just oh look, it hold up. It actually it did some decent damage there. Starting to chunk him just a little more. I, I may have been a little too too early with the diagnosis. It is somewhat chunky him, but I hmm. That is still so iffy, I'm gonna be honest with you. But let's see if maybe we put an ammo mod if this changes anything at all. And it sounds like we have another another willing volunteer right next to us. Hello there, buddy. All right, let's see. Maybe Napalm. Oh, hold up. That took like six shots there to, to blow that head off. Make sure we're hitting all the special crit areas. Oh, God. Oh, you got to make sure to get... Got to make sure to get a little bit of distance. Make sure you have LOS. And now he's going to keep doing this for us. So as long as you have line of sight with the Megas, by the way... They will continuously do this this attack. So we're gonna kind of cheese them a little bit here. But I just want to see damage wise. Is this gonna change completely? Oh, hmm. oh god, we just uh, we might die here. Okay, we do have an extra self res. We have. This is why I wanted that extra self res. I as soon as I saw it and I don't have my golden armor plate, things get a lot harder in this zone. And now I just gotta be careful. Make sure I don't die to just regular zombies. Oh. Okay. Oh, I couldn't buy it in time. No. All right, guys. You know what? I will say we didn't give it the full review, so we might come back to this uh, later on. Uh, hopefully, they add Pack-A-Punch Tier 4 in Season 2. You never know. I have heard that the devs have been cooking, so we might get that in the future. But for now, I'm going to call this gun just don't use it. There, there's so many better guns that you can use. This is a do not use. If you need to do the camo challenges and you need a build just to kind of get off, you don't have your insurance, go kill Dokubi, get this gun, keep it in your stash if you really want to hold on to it and use it. But as it is right now, I will say this is a do not use. Check out one of my other videos, one of my other loadout videos, and you'll see just how much better those guns can be. But for now, I will see you guys in the next one.